Well, your date certainly added some excitement to the evening. Yes, well, I had no idea he would use the occasion to fire the police commissioner. Quite a shock. Nobody seemed too happy about it, or do I read that wrong? No, you didn't pose the best. He's been like a dad to Rex. I mean... No. I, I know what you mean. He was there when I wasn't. Well, you're here now. Anyway, we're all real upset about Bo, but right now he's not talking about it. So I guess we'll find out more at some point. Yes, I'm sure we will. You know, I was looking for you, Charlie. It's good to see you. You know, it must make you feel really good, Rex, to know that you were sired by someone so cultured and intelligent and uh, must have been a shock, as it certainly was when I learned the news. Yeah, especially considering I thought it was Wally Balsam all these years. You know Natalie, right, Vicky's daughter? Oh, oh yeah. Well, anyway, Wally Balsam, the guy I thought was my father, took her, stole her away, gave her to Roxy to raise, cheating Vicky out of knowing she had a daughter and Jessica out of knowing she had a sister, all because he was in some cult led by another psycho, Mitch Lawrence. Anyway, under the heading of more than you wanted to know. What? No, no, I do, of course. I want to know more about your life, your family. Oh, I'm sure he wants to know everything. Please elaborate. Well, there's not all that much more to tell. I, j I just went on about Wally to, to, to point out that there's nothing you could ever say or do that would be a bigger disappointment to me than what I believed growing up about my dad. Why is he doing this? Well, we had a difference of opinion. He wanted my resignation. I said no, so he fired me. Right. Well, this, uh, this guy Ramsey, I thought he was FBI. What's he doing here? Yeah, do you know anything about him? I know that you two are going to be working for him. So I'll bet you that uh, you can make up your minds on your own. Ms. Davidson, Lee Ramsey, I've heard so much about you. Ah, and I've heard absolutely nothing about you, which is odd, considering the fact that I publish a newspaper. I'm accustomed to having the news before everyone else. Well, I, I'm going to do my best to ensure that the news that's fit to print is good news, now that I'm in charge. Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Honey, why don't you come join Charlie and me, huh? Thanks, but I, I really have to go soon. Well, you said you'd, you wanted to go and get Shane. Do you think he misses you? No, um, no, I just, I don't want him to overstay his welcome, that's all. Oh, honey, I'm sure he couldn't do that. But anyway, I understand. I'm very glad you came. Me too. And you take my car and drive her, okay? Thank you. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Well, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. JJ. JJ. Remember, a good night tonight is up to you. What happened, Clint? You lose your date. Are you really trying to kill me? If I was, you would already be dead, or at least in another nice long coma. Oh, get, get off of me! You know, if someone walked in here right now, what would they think? They would think you finally pushed me over the edge. Well, it's a short trip. Oh, my God. Did you put on a few pounds over the holidays? Oh, shut up. Um, Stop wiggling. Get uh, uh, off of me. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Star looks happy. Yeah, now. It's too bad she spent all that time being totally paranoid, thinking we were hooking up behind her back. I'd probably think the same thing if my best friend and boyfriend were spending all that time together. Yeah, well, I mean, we were spending all that time together because we were planning this party for her and that whole grief counseling thing, which we couldn't talk to Star about, you know? Things got a little weird between us, right? That wasn't just me. You're right. You know, I think that it's just because we were both going through so much and we just got really close, you know? Yeah, we did. And no, I mean, you're right. Yeah, things did get a little confusing, but we're just friends, right? Yeah, friends. 
I'm really happy about that. Me too. You found the note. That's your note. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop uh, it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. No, 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 don't you, don't you. Perhaps Nora was so distraught over Bo's job loss that she lost control of her ever volatile emotions and just left. Are you enjoying this? Hmm. <laughs> Dorian, what's going on here? The mayor may have been my escort, but darling, I certainly can't read his mind. What mind? He just turned a psycho into the police commissioner. Who are you calling a psycho, Mr. Mayor? You. You just put the last nail in your political coffin there, Lowell. It's Mayor Lowell to you. The hell were you thinking? <laughs> Ramsey's the best man for the job. And what job is that exactly? I'm going to go get my son, and we're going to leave Landview forever. I'm not going to cause any trouble for you. I promise. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, Shane is with his friend Matthew at the Buchanan Mansion, isn't he? Good commissioner has eyes and ears everywhere, keeps his citizens safe. What exactly are you willing to give up, Jared? Your sanity? Your good name? Our whole family's reputation? If you would just let me speak. No! Why? So you can tell me again how you feel about me? Do you think that it makes me anything but miserable and sick to my stomach? To hear you say that. I can't even say it, it's so horrible. Being in love with someone, how can that be horrible? You know the answer to that, Jared. I don't I don't know why you're doing this. But we both know that we can't be together. What if there was a way? Well, are, are you gonna tell me why you're planning on killing me, or is that a secret too? You're not smart enough to figure it out? To complete the circle of life. And to make those wretched people suffer. Well, all, all the people that love me? Those few, yes. And those who didn't believe in Mitch. Who wanted to make us suffer. Well, because we were different. I, I, I'm a part of Mitch. Mitch was my father. Then it kills you to say that, doesn't it? <laughs> Pun intended. Well, if Mitch wanted you dead, it's good enough for me. Well, what about my daughter? I, she hasn't done anything to anyone. And, and she's Mitch's flesh and blood. I, I, she needs her mother. The sweet, beautiful Bree. Wait. You're talking as if you've seen her. I held her in my arms, just like I held you, Jessica. Oh, God. She's so innocent, as you say, and helpless. I could have ended her life so easily. Thank you. Thank you for sparing her. Poor child. You're all she has in this world. You think you'd be desperate not to leave her. I am. Desperate enough to get down on your hands and knees and beg for your life? You have to think about it. Please. Do you know why he got kicked out of the FBI? No, you don't. <clears throat> Try to kill a woman in Ireland. In the process of attempting to save her life. Actually, uh, just the other day, he tried to kill another woman. A woman and her son. Lee Ramsey's a trained sniper. What he shoots said he kills. So how do you explain that that woman and her boy are still alive? And, and while you're at it, I'd like to know how you are still, with your abysmally long rap sheet, how you are not behind bars. You're a perfect example of what's wrong with the police department in this town. And you say he's doing his job? I was certainly no fan of the now ex-commissioner. But really, uh, Mr. Ramsey was very aggressive when he came to search my house a few months ago. He came in the house waving a gun at my daughter and her friend. Well, they live with your husband every day. I'm, I'm sure that barely made an impression compared to what they're subjected to on a daily basis. Well, my mission here is accomplished, so I will be on my way. Enjoy the rest of your evening.